Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and today I'll be teaching you how to catch all of the fish in Rune King. So most of the, f or I will do this in sections so that you can find all your fish just in case you're missing one individual fish. But um, in case of that I will be telling you what fish you can catch where and I'll be going to the locations and then I will pop up on the screen what the fish looks like so that you have a easier thing of looking. So. In the first area we're going, we're going to Angler's Envy. And in Angler's Envy, in Angler's Envy, we have the large simmering eel. We have the one-eyed angler. We have sinister frog. And we have snapping turtle. These four fish can only be caught here in Angler's Envy. It is a percent chance, so you're going to have to keep trying, so don't give up. And the next location, we'll go to Calm Waters. In Calm Waters, we can catch the Blue Flame Bass, Blue Flame Frog, Blue Flame Guppy, Blue Flame Snapper, Coral Creeper, Deep Sea Lurker, Gulperfish, Long Whiskered Catfish, Onyx Crab, and Baby Squid. There are in total 10 fish that you can catch here. And like I said, they're all percent chances, so you'll have to keep coming back until you get all the ones that you need. Now we'll be heading to the Spectral Shore. And in the spectral shore, you can catch electric eel, neon frog, small razorfish, and striped razorfin. These fish, these four fish, can be caught here. And again, they're percent chance, so don't give up until you get them. It took me quite a while to get all the fish. So now we will head to the. Uh, I think we might go to purification temple. So let's go to purification temple. The purification temple fishing spot is very nearby. It only contains two fish that you're gonna need. They're both eels, so once we get there, then it should be fine. So I'm guessing everyone by now is going for these achievements, so you know what the purification temple fishing spot is. But just in case, I'll be going there myself. I think did I pass it? No, no, it's here. Okay. The fishing spot is right here. In here, you can catch rainbow eel and small eel, as well as kelp for the Poro achievement. Now we can go to the Shadow Vault because the Shadow Vault has three fish that we can catch. So we'll head to the Shadow Vaults real quick. I'll probably speed this up so that you guys don't have to watch it. But in case you do want to follow, then that's fine. I'll add timestamps and names to all the fishes in the description. So that you can find your specific fish. I'll also, at the very end of the video, add a picture of all of the fish and locations just in case you didn't find your fish so that you guys have an easier, easier way to find what fish you're looking for. So we're gonna head to the Shadow Vault, so we wanna go back to Bilgewater Harbor. You wanna go back and talk to this guy. And we wanna go to the Drowned Port. And in the Shadow Vault, it doesn't matter which fishing spot you go to, as long as you go to a fishing spot. I've tested it out, it is possible. Then take the teleporter. We're gonna go to the Shadow Vault, of course. If you look on your map, 
and we see the nearest one would be here I think so we'll actually go over there just because I feel like it'd probably be easier so we'll quickly get there real quick now that we're here we want to open the map once more okay so we want to go just straight forward if you're over leveled and you've beat the game everything's gonna ignore you so you should have an easy time getting to this spot we'll come down here and here's our fishing spot any of the fishing spots like I said any of the fishing spots in this area will indeed give you all the fish so in here we can get the algae eater the shadow piranha and the translucent sturgeon I'll put those the pictures of them on screen you'll be able to see everything all the fish on screen as we go through this we have two more locations that we need to go to so I'll probably like I said probably speed this up unless you want to follow then I will actually I think I'll just leave it not sped up because it shouldn't take too long So we're going to go ahead and go back. The way we came from. There's multiple fishing spots. There's one here. There's one there. Either of those will give you the, the fish that you need. But the reason I chose the other one is because it has a rest stop right next to it. So you could go, rest, and then leave. Now we need to go to the Vault of Asani. And the Vault of Asani has quite a bit of the rarer fish, I would say. They're also much harder to catch. And it's probably the best spot to be fishing if you want black market and money. Because in the Vault of Asani, you also get uh, like the, the rarest fish for the most amount of tokens. So you can just go ahead and catch it. Once you've caught a lot of them, go sell them to the black market and get your skins. Yeah, this guy will be in your way, so... either run or kill him. I'm gonna choose to run just because it saves some time. In this area you can catch baby, the baby shark, you can catch dark jellyfish, you can catch the lucky squid, you can catch the poison blowfish, you can catch skull snail, and you can also catch the young berserker shark. They're all here. You're gonna have to do this multiple times because in this fishing spot, if we go ahead and cast our line, you'll see at the very, very back, these will be your rare fish. If you see one, you can it has a chance to be either a chest or it has a chance to be the shark. So it's going to take some time. It won't be instant. Now we'll just head to the last location. Uh, this guy really wants to fight, and I'm not for it. Oh my lord, how many times am I going to fail to escape? Thank you. Honestly, I might save quit just because I can get to the location I need to be in faster. Please ignore me. Thank you. Our last location is back in the Bilgewater Harbor and it's actually the fishing spot there that is just right outside of the area and it should give you the neon jellyfish that you need in order to get all of the 30 fish that are in the game of course I could go to every fishing spot and get all the fish but that would take way too much time and I'm working with little time right now so now we're going to go ahead and go back. 
we're gonna go ahead back to the Dutchwater Harbor. And go to the last fishing spot. Which is here. I'm pretty sure you can catch the neon jellyfish here if you keep trying. Then that should be your last fish. If I'm missing any fish, like I said at the very end of the video, I'll add the the thing which has all the fish so you can see. And also just in case, we will just leave this area. Because the loading screens take forever. We'll go to the fishing one. And we'll go through these. Again, Blue Flame Guppy, Snapper. I will just go through this really slow. So you guys can see which fish you're missing. That'll be it. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. It'll help grow my channel. Thank you guys. Later.